Let's try that again. And this time I need to see a little bit more warmth. Ah, an idea might be that you could pretend that you were the sun. When you talk about what could sandwich the family together on a hot summer day. Ah. Oh, and remember, big smile when you say the name Bippy. Ah. Oh, and when you talk about moms, what more can moms ask for? Bippy, right? Okay. And they can't ask for anything more. Moms just need Bippy and that's it. Let's try it again. At Bippy, we put more peanuts in our peanut butter than anyone else. We believe our peanut butter is what can sandwich the family together on a hot summer day. It's healthy, and it makes a great snack. What more could moms ask for? Bippy! Yes, that's yes. it. Very warm, very sunny. I just sold my soul. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, thanks. That was great, Michael. Thanks. thanks. Did he just shake his head? That wasn't very bippy like Really? How about like a second draft or like a splash no. or something? Nine o'clock, okay? Yeah. What's up? Hey. What's up? Okay, okay, seriously. Tell me you're not going in for a bippy. No, no, I had a uh, call back for Pontiac. Good, because you don't want to go through that torture. Bad writing? It wasn't even the writing that the director actually suggested to me that I pretend I'm the sun while I'm delivering the line in order to warm it up a little. The director actually said that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, what's next? What are we gonna have to audition in front of a nine-year-old for Fisher-Price toys? That, that's no, room C down the hall. You, yeah. didn't, you didn't go in for that? No, I can't, I can't, I can't horror myself out anymore. You know, I'm finished, I'm done with it. Yeah, but you think this. they actually care. There's plenty of actors to pick from that'll strap on the hooker boots. I mean, look at that guy. Yeah, well, I'm hanging my boots up because I, I didn't become an actor so that I could be in a bippy commercial. If it makes you feel any better, I just blew any chance I had of booking the Pontiac spot. Why, right, what happened? I'm doing my speech and then I go, uh, so come on down and check out the new Pontiac fire beard. <laughs> you know the client's gonna have a good laugh about that over lunch. You know, it's like, remember the guy that came in at that Pontiac fire beard? <laughs> he just was stupid, he was so stupid. You know, there's a, there's a workshop this weekend, actually, you could probably take workshop? to help you with how your speech. Pronounce, how to pronounce fire beard. Well, there's your speech yeah. in general. I'll meet you, you there. To... Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna or, pass, or but, you, you know, you're... So, uh, so Sarah, she keeps bringing up the conversation about the move-in. Um, what did she say? Well, she said, she said, you know, when we move in, like, it's happening for sure, like, it's a done deal. What did you say? I said, uh, sweetie, it, it kind of freaks me out when you forecast like that. No, no, Please. no, th that's your inner voice talking. You don't actually speak with that voice. Yeah, that stays buried deep inside here. That doesn't come out. But th that's how I felt. I'm just, I'm just trying to be honest. Mike, Christy says that when we have grandkids, we're gonna have a farm. So our <gasps> grandkids can come and visit us at the farm. Last time I checked, in order to have grandkids, you need kids, which we don't have. What, what is she, a prophet? What? She's buried us already. They got it all figured out. Yeah, but why plan it out? What happened to let things flow? You know, a nice natural progression. Get used to it. You know, why are women in such a rush to move in? Are you kidding me? Women invented moving in. How do you think decorating started? Yeah, they, they move in, and then a day or two later, the, the fluffy thing goes on the toilet. <laughs> Yeah, but all, and all the women I tell are so excited about it. Oh, yeah. They're like, oh, really? Oh, yay, yay. Oh, Michael, that yeah. is so fine. Oh, congratulations, Michael. You must be so happy. And the men are like, whoa. Are you nuts? You know what that means? It's like you're already married. I got friends I haven't seen in 10 years. Mike, divorce rates are 61%. The men freak out and the women celebrate. That's because men are afraid of commitment, and that is all women want. If commitment was a flavor, they would order that like every time. Just a large commitment to go. <laughs> I don't. <know. laughs> Sounds to me like you don't deserve her. Sounds to me like maybe you don't deserve that donut. You know, maybe a salad or something. Okay, what was that? What was that? It was a little. They're always listening. You see them? They bring spies and surveillance to find intrusive. out what we're saying. Hey, how was your callback for your Bippy commercial? <laughs> Unbelievable. The director was like a morph of Mr. Rogers and Edith Bunker, and I, I think he was a little too excited about selling the bippy. Michael, I don't understand why you get so stressed out about it. You're in there for like five seconds. Hey, see, it's hard for you to fully understand because you're not in the business. You're right, Michael. I'm not in the business, but, you know, I am in the business of talking about us moving in together. Oh, did you write that? That's very clever. Yeah, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Michael, come back here. We have to figure this out. Your lease is up at the end of the month. So? So, it just makes sense. We've been together for a year now, and we spend practically every night together. Okay, what, what is so special about one year? I don't understand that. Why, why is one year the big mark in a relationship? I don't know. It just seems right. What are you doing? I'm just, I'm trying to see how, how bald I am here. 
Michael, we're talking about our future. Can you focus here? No, babe, we will, we will, okay? I promise, we will. But just answer me this. If you were riding behind me down an escalator, would, would you be like, whoa, look at that guy. That, that, guy's, that guy's pretty bald. Yes, yes, I would be like, that guy's pretty bald because you are bald. You have a bald spot on the top of your head. You're bald. Look <gasps> in the mirror. Well, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should get some plugs or something. What? That's you know, close. or I could get a transplant and just move this, like, move this over to here and just That's move it over, oh right? You know, because there's a lot of good donor hairs here just waiting to be plucked and moved over. Michael, I am so not having this conversation with you. If you don't want to talk about our future, then don't talk to me, okay? Oh, you're mean. Can we turn the light out? <sighs> Bye. Hey, Michael, hi. Hello. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Mm. All right. Good so, to see you. What's up? You wanted to see me? Yeah. Yes, I did. What's up? Hmm? Well, I've been doing some thinking, and uh, I'd like to stop doing commercials. What? Yeah. I I I'd just rather do film and TV, and just Michael, no more commercials. Been doing so well I think that with would commercials, be commercials, huh? You're like yeah. the commercial king. What did Simon say? Well, Michael's on fire. Yeah, that's very kind of Simon. It's very <laughs> kind. But uh, Myra, Myra, the Bippy audition. It's a joke. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I can't do that. I, I can't Look, do that. I already Come talked on. to Sandy Name about it. the session. Oh, good, good. What did she say? The director's a moron, no, right? No, she said you shook your head on the way out of the audition. She said that. That's what yes, she said. Yes, Michael, they both said they saw you shake your head on the way out of the audition. <laughs> she, she actually called you to Michael, tell you that come that was Sandy's come on. You big report. You disrespected the director. Yeah, Norman Stupidson. Couldn't work with that guy anyways, see, Myra. See, that was the head shake yeah, right it, there. Yes, it was the head shake, Myra. I mean, have you got any idea what it's like as an artist to prostitute yourself oh, like that over and over? Come on, Michael, over. look at me, huh? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking yeah, to? Good. She that's said good. it wasn't appropriate, <sighs> okay? So my suggestion to you is that you send her a card and apologize. Apologize mm -hmm. for shaking my head? Yes. Yeah, that's... And, and, and I'm just curious, but how would that card read? Well, I'm would, sorry for you... the head shake and for disrespecting the director. And I'm a hooker. Maybe I could deliver the card in some waist high hooker boots to, to <laughs> yeah, complete the trilogy. I would like to see of, that. Of, right? Okay, because... listen, listen. <laughs> She's giving you the benefit of the doubt, okay? And oh, she wants yeah. to see you at the callback for that Fassburger spot. It's oh, today for the, at 4.30. For the spokesperson. Yes, it's a U.S. national. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, I this is, I have to admit this is a little strange writing someone a card Michael, for Michael. Right. You know, the shaking card. the head. Right. Right. The you know. card. What's next? Okay. Uh, yeah, I, uh, and break all those limbs at the callback. Oh, I'll break. Okay. And I'll break a couple limbs. Okay. I will. All right. I think I'm gonna. Bye. Every actor needs a therapist. How's your father doing? Uh, it's still a little awkward. Why? How so? It just gets, it gets really weird when I talk about my success in the business. Michael, he used to be an actor. Yeah. Compassion. <laughs> right? So you say to him, for instance, you say to him, Dad, just got Stargate. Woo! I'm working with MacGyver. Coconut commercials, a dozen of them. You, a dozen. Coconut. What does he say to you? It's really something. No... Congratulations, no, I'm happy for you, way to go, nothing. You have to understand that he's coming from a place of angst, right? He never got to be the Sasquatch in the beer commercial. He never got to meet David Duchovny. You got to touch David Duchovny. <laughs> Most of us would like that, right? To be closer to it. It's just hard, you know, it's just, it, 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 you know. You got some homework to do, all right? I want you to Find your dad this week, seek him out, and tell him how you feel when he's not congratulatory towards your successes. Seek him out. Now we're having lunch today in about a half hour, so. <laughs> no that should be interesting, huh? No time like the present, that's what oh, I yeah. say. Duke's up, buddy. It's gonna be interesting. Love is a glove, and you need to smack him in the he's face. He's not gonna re receive it well. Double Dukes, double Dukes, Dukes up, come on. <laughs> get him, get out of here, okay? <laughs> Give it a try. Pow, pow. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, all right. Take care. Yeah. Michael, I love you. Thanks. Great. Pow. <laughs> so, uh, uh, how's work coming? Um, 
Well, it's a little, a little slow right now, mm. but uh, actually, I, I booked an episode of Da Vinci's last week, so uh, I was pretty happy about that. Huh? Huh? You booked the Da Vinci's? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Working with uh, Nicholas Campbell, lead of the show. Uh, so. Yeah, that's that's something. Oh, <clears throat> good for you. Good for you. Okay, time to do the homework. Okay, Dad, I, I can't, I got, I got to be honest here. I really, seriously, I feel like you're not happy about my success. <laughs> That's not true. No, I, I do. I feel, I feel like you're, you're jealous. Hey, when I, when I talk about a booking, I, I've got, you know, I've you, got nothing to be jealous of. Of you? Just a sec. I gotta get this. Hold on. Hello. Yeah. Oh, hey, Ralph. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Oh, <laughs> that's great. That's great. Five national spots. That's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow at 10 a.m. GGRP. Okay, got it. That's great. Thanks, Ralph. Okay, bye. I like that. That's Your agent. That was my voice agent. Looks like I uh, booked some radio spots. Oh, that's good. That's good. So, national. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that'll, that'll pay the rent for a little while. Yeah. Which is, uh, yeah. And anyways, I, I just, so what I just does feel that like pay? you're not... What does that pay? I don't, I don't feel comfortable telling you that. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I'll get, I'll get lunch. Yeah, yeah. I just, well, look, I, okay, wait. I just want to compare it, you know, to when I used to work. That is, it's different now. You know, it's different. Well, it's what do they pay you? A thousand dollars? Well, I don't know. I mean, uh, it's just different now. Anyways, Dad, I gotta go. Okay. The. Uh, oh, I got an audition at four thirty. Good. Okay. Gotta go. Yeah. Right. Good luck. Every audition I go to, there's always the same types of characters. They may be different people at each audition, but these same characters seem to show up, all vying for the job. Because who's kidding you? This is a highly competitive business. The guy that gets this commercial will earn over $5,000 for one day's work. That can make people act in strange ways. Hey, man. You looking for the sign-in sheet? That's... Right over there. The directions guy. Yeah, just to let you know, we're running about 10, 15 minutes behind schedule. They were late setting up. <laughs> but you'll get in. What was your call time? 4.30. Well, you'll get in by quarter two. Yeah, just circle number two, call back at, nope. Don't initial yet. Look, listen, read. To be completed upon departure. Craig Johnson? Oh, hey. what you? I'll tell you later. Oh my God, come on. Danger field. Mine field. Don't go into that field. There's danger. <laughs> Is that where it comes from? Danger field. Uh, it must be like a field with knives in there. Mr. Oh, Social. What happened? I was fetish clubbing. I mean, uh, you ever? If you had, that? your eyes would light up, and they didn't, so I'm moving on. How are you? I'm doing, I'm doing all right. You, uh, you eating these days? You... It's not bad. That's yeah, not bad. yeah. Uh, I think it's really bad, and that's because of the reality. Hey, man. Hey, man. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Because the reality shows. Mm -hmm. That's why. It's all the uh, crazy, like, uh, extreme makeover of my brother's sister's cousin who, uh, you know, uh, pimped my apartment while I was away. Edition, you know? <laughs> Danger field. Don't go in that field. It's a minefield. <laughs> Jack. I didn't yeah, see you. Yeah, yeah. And I, I had four days on that, man. Four Mr. Days. Brags about work. Blue Squad next week got me two days. Two is four and three, that's like six. And Mr. Wants to be near Mr. Brags about work. I'm in New York, you know, I just for some pilots, hang out with some buds. Yeah. You know. Good buds? Yeah, yeah, good buds. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> did you get to audition for like, uh, you know, networks and stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, ABC. ABC. NBC, PAX, PAX the big network, men, right? yeah, network for men. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they love me, boy. <laughs> That's awesome, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Okay, guys, a general note. Just keep the copy natural. Director wants realistic. It's not theater, people. Okay, we have Brent Lawson. Hit that thing. What's up? What's up? <laughs> <That's> sweet. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. How's LA? LA was great. Cool. Uh -huh. We missed you last week. Okay, this guy always trips me out. I call him Mr. Mysterious. Blue Squad. Nancy's passion. I've worked with you before. Murder line. Something sci-fi, maybe an MOW. Iron hat. 
I... Uh, you related to Rodney? Uh, <laughs> Do you get no respect? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Never heard that one. Um... Rich Davis? Rich Davis? Oh, yeah, here. Go get him, Mr. Nervous. They say the stress an actor goes through Sorry. before and during an audition is the equivalent to a car accident. Get your own wardrobe? Yeah, it, you know, it's my uh, work uniform, so. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're actually at work right now. On yeah. the right, Mr. Game Player. Oh, okay. On the left, Mr. Uh, New. No, 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 not uh, Burger Place. I work at Skippy Dog, but similar. Oh. Oh, it's good shakes, it's good. Yeah, they're really good. I have grilling experience in case they shoot in the kitchen, so. Well, you know what, you might want to let them know that. And cool. at some Thank point, you. you know, take the, take the hat off to show them. You don't like the hat? No, no, that's good, but, you know, if you're a bald guy, you right. might not do the spot with the hat on, right? Okay, and so just. And they've got different hats, too. Maybe just, a, just, you know, find a, find like a spot in the dialogue. To kind of go. take it off. And that's why. That's yeah. Okay. That was you great, that. thanks, Rich. Thank you, Sandy. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Michael Dangerfield. Uh, Sandy, this is really and smile cool. now. Uh, Michael, this is our director, James Robertson. Well, it's finally happened. I'm actually auditioning in front of a nine-year-old. Wow, uh, directors are getting younger all the time. <laughs> Sandy, Sandy, where's the... Uh... Yeah. Hi, sorry. Yeah. I was just... <laughs> oh, did you think? <laughs> no, no, that was my son. <laughs> that... I thought he was the <laughs> trend. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, take over. <laughs> no, I thought... Okay, Michael, what we're looking for here today is a very non-salesy type of delivery. So this guy's like, a, he's a manager at Fastburger, loves his job. You can make him a little bit minimum wage, you know, not too hip. A little bit minimum wage? You know, what does that mean? Should I have taken the bus here to feel more in character? Now, so, um, okay. So if you could give us something like that, that'd be great. Yeah, sure, you got it. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Pete, and I work at Fastburger. We've got the best beef in town. And if you're a vegetarian, we've got your veggies. So come down to Fastburger. You'll get your food in no time. That was really nice. Excellent. Great. If we can just even make it, he's not trying to sell anything. You know, he's just talking to friends of friends maybe about where to eat. So, I mean, you had that already. Just where you were at. Just bring it down. Yeah, like kind of friends. Yeah. I don't know it's hard, but if you can do that. This is our producer, Sherry. Mike, we're just going to take a second. I'm going to go back to All right. Can you say to everybody? Let's see. I know, we got back. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not comfortable. Okay, you know what? I think uh, I think we got all we need. So, um, thanks a lot. Thanks, Michael. Uh, is, there, is, there, is there a problem here? Because I, I feel like something just happened there. Something definitely, something definitely just happened there. No, 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 it's fine. Everything's, uh, everything's fine. I think we got it. So, yeah, thanks for coming in. Okay, look, I, I'd like to be honest here. Um, I remember you from the coffee shop yesterday. No. And I'm, I'm sorry if I offended you. I just, I'm just a little freaked out about moving with my girlfriend right now, and I'm sorry that my friend made that uh, donut comment. I, he just, he just, he just gets a little overprotective sometimes. He, you made a, you made a donut comment? Oh, I, I didn't. He, Okay, well, I'll let you, let's get back to work then. <laughs> right. I mean, because, you know, that, that first take was, was pretty solid, right? So, no need to do it again. 
know, we got All right, it. so uh, you know, we got that in the can. So, well, we'll uh, we'll see you on set. <laughs> you know, because. That woman from the coffee shop. She was a producer on the commercial. Oh, you didn't want to work for her. She would have tried to pay you in apple fritters. Yes, I did. It was a U.S. national. And now Myra said until I book one that I have to keep auditioning for commercials. It's okay. Hey, guys. No, I don't... Can you put that in the upstairs office, please? Upstairs. That's great. You know, I know plenty of single girls who have their offices on the first floor that I could introduce you to. Could you? Yeah. I, I think uh, that, wouldn't that, be that, that would be a good idea. That would be good. Could you? Could you because. Uh, Okay, guys, um, when I call action, you are going to cheer like you're at a football game, okay? You're in the stands, you're having a blast, and uh, let's not forget to hold the drinks up so we can see them, okay? And action! Yeah! That was good, that's it. Th thanks, that's it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, guys. You okay? <laughs> <laughs>